So here in the UAE, we've barely seen an impact of uh, supply chain issues, which is quite incredible when the only way of really getting in and out is by sea or air. So where I would like to start this session is by asking each individual of our participants to answer basically the same question, and that is whether you can provide from the perspective of your own company, your vantage point, what do you see as the current status of the supply chain right now? What is working? What is not working? And also, how do you see the market situation being different now compared to six months ago? And for your company specifically, what has changed over this period? What is it that you are doing differently? Uh, so thanks, Joseph. And uh, I think first of all, just to say, Congratulations to everybody in the room for keeping the supply chain going because it's been a tumultuous two years and, and actually here in the UAE we've barely seen an impact of uh, supply chain issues which is quite incredible when the only way of really getting in and out is by sea or air so, um, so I think a great job for everybody. Um, I look after Donata globally so you know, maybe I can answer from a more, sort of more global perspective but um, you know, certainly what we've seen is, is number one obviously um, freight has moved from sea to air. Um, and that's put a tremendous strain on an opportunity for air freight. Um, but you know, there's just not enough capacity in the air to be able to, to cope with belly holds not flying and, uh, and a limited number of freighters. So it's given a tremendous opportunity for the airlines. The other big impact that we've seen is, um, is that freighters have been able to fly to hub airports where they've not previously had slots available. So a lot of the air freight has been concentrated around um, hubs like um, Dubai, like Amsterdam, like um, uh, Chicago, places like that where we've never seen that volume of freight before because it would always go to secondary airports and therefore that's put a tremendous strain on warehouse capacity in those airports um, and the throughput has you know, in some cases more than doubled capacity just, sh just due to sheer will. Um, and so that's, that for us has been a tremendous challenge um, trying to deal with that. Um, I think couple that with the um, unpredictability uh, of the volume, um, both from a point of view of uh, um, you know what's coming in um, on, on freighters and on belly holds, you know that's being replanned, replanned. We used to plan passenger activity on a, a seasonal basis. Now it's almost on a weekly basis. Um, so I think that's you know something that maybe will never go away. Uh, my view is that seasonal's always been too long, um, and therefore we we probably will be replanning more often and, and optimising off the back of that. Um, so, um, you know, there's unpredictability of stuff coming in. Uh, we've also seen um, issues with stuff going out of the warehouses because, um, you know, freight forwarders warehouses have also been full. Uh, we've had issues globally with um, the availability of uh, trucking um, to, uh, to take the freight out of the warehouses and therefore um, are what should be purely logistics throughput warehouses at, on airport perimeters have become storage facilities. And the problem with that is if you have a storage facility with nothing going out, it gets congested coming in as the airlines arrive. So, you know, uh, we've tried to encourage the freight forwarding community to collect their cargo as, as quickly as possible, take it on to its uh, either a holding destination or an end destination. And I think that's really important. You know, for us in Donata, uh, you know, I'll say it again, our warehouses are really just throughput. They're all about the screening, the customs, the clearance, you know, all over the world. They're not um, storage facilities. And I think if we, from our point of view, if we can get that moving, then that will really help the uh, uh, capacity uh, availability. Um, but apart from that, I think, you know, we're using technology like we've never used it before. We're trialing new um, technology uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, we were talking briefly about drones to do uh, within the warehouses. We've got uh, new uh, technology here with um, our Kologi system, which um, uh, which effectively enables freight forwarders to book and receive uh, dock management systems in the UK and, and uh, uh, in um, Amsterdam and here really help the delivery and the collection points um, at the warehouses and I think obviously that technology is going to be something that we will take forwards um, in the future and hopefully that will really refine the whole process.